When the twelve tribes arrived in Andalusia, each chose a separate region to inhabit and so they lived in relative exclusion from one another until King Theologian was crowned in 100 AMI. One of the tribes was led by a man named Flynn, an arrogant self-styled chieftain. He cared only for wealth and was determined to reside in jagged rocks where there were vast ore deposits. Many members of his tribe urged him to reconsider as the mountains were barren and already occupied by the native goblins and trolls, but Flynn could not see past his desire for riches. He and his tribe wiped out the native creatures and took the mountains for themselves, gaining control of the rich mineral deposits. However, the wisps that resided within Andalusia thrived on balance and harmony, and so they did not guide Flynn and his tribe as they did us. Without the knowledge of the wisps, the tribe could not thrive and their resources became sparse. Concerned only for himself, Flynn forced his people to live in villages with little protection or wealth, whilst he resided in a vast castle that he constructed for himself, the so-called chief's glory. Whilst the royal mages may not intervene in the matters of other tribes, we had been guided to large pockets of residual magic within the eastern areas of jagged rocks areas controlled by Flynn and his tribe. When an area of particular potency was discovered, King Theologian was informed, and he persuaded Flynn to agree to the construction of a tower within jagged rocks that would act as a headquarters for our order. Over time, this tower became the location of many tomes and artifacts that explored the nature of magic within Andalusia, and as the order of the royal mages expanded, so did our knowledge. I write this mere months after the conclusion of the war at the Battle of Maltai. However, few of our order remain. Most were called to arms against Gorgoth and his demonic army, many of whom did not survive, and we were forced to abandon Crystal Peak Tower. Indeed, we were not present when Burek and his tribe attacked the people of Jagged Rocks, and with Flynn unwilling to leave his own fortress, the common people fell at the hands of the Dark Oak tribe their small villages providing no protection from the onslaught. Pyrrhic and his people tore through the mountainous terrain, eventually laying siege to the castle itself, but following the news of Gorgoth's defeat at Maltai, Pyrrhic retreated before he could force his way inside. Alas, the damage had already been done and the tribe was weak. With nothing left to subdue them, the native goblins and trolls re-emerged and began to retake the area. I have found no remains of Flynn or his tribe, and so I am forced to conclude that in their weakened state, they were quickly overrun by the native creatures. These creatures have since occupied not only Chief's glory, but also our own tower. Strengthened and corrupted by the artifacts that remain within it, these creatures prove too dangerous for us to push back, and thus our headquarters remain lost to us. My only hope is that in the coming years, we shall be able to gather a small force with which we might recover the information that remains within the Crystal Peak Tower. But our order has suffered great losses, and I fear it may be too late for us.